Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. This is the last clip I'm going to film in front of this. I'm about to take this down. So I'm sad but also excited at the same time. So that is what we are doing. I am about to start Archer's Voice. I haven't read it before and all my friends love it. So we're going to read Archer's Voice and listen to an audio while I take down the tree. So that's the plan. It is gonna be a very hot day. So hopefully I can get this done pretty quickly, but I will update you guys as I go along with this book. I have no idea how to feel. So I know this is a lot of people's favorite book. So I hope I don't upset anybody when I read this. So yeah, let's get taking this tree down and get into this book because I'm very excited. Nor the faint sounds of FIFA in the background. Again, what can I do? I am 23 chapters i'm um, the 23rd chapter of archer's voice i'm enjoying this book but i'm also like kind of confused because it's very dark it's very like full-on it's not what i expected Dem i'm definitely enjoying it the plot's very suspenseful like i want to know what happened to archer's parents what the backstory is with victoria what she knows what she doesn't know i mean i have my theories and i can't talk about it like I it'll spoil it it is very good. Bree has a little bit of pick me girl energy, which is kind of annoying. Archer has a lot of trauma, like a lot of trauma. I don't know if people use like the word beautiful, like this is a beautiful story to describe this book. I don't know if I can say that it is, but I'm still gonna finish it. Like I'm still definitely gonna enjoy it. Whether it's a five star, I'm unsure. Like I really don't know how much I'm gonna read this week. Also got my nails done today, if you guys. Can see that i'm obsessed with my nails like my nail lady does such a good job and she's also a reader like me and reads kindle books so yeah i don't yeah, you know you can't say it better but like i just kind of like saw the design and i kind of just give her crazy little bitties i'm like these are the colors this is the kind of wavy design that i want go for your life but yeah i'm gonna go have a shower because i'm gonna watch the tennis um they keep delaying the game it was supposed to start a couple minutes ago i don't know if it has so I need to get in the shower and get ready and change and wash my face. It's 10 o'clock. And we're watching a Djokovic game, which will be definitely at least a three-setter, if not more. So, um, the Oz Open is my favourite time of year because it's just chaos. Okay, I literally just finished Archer's voice and I wanted to do this update even though I'm driving. Um, I don't know if this is in focus, like I really have no idea. But I just finished Archer's voice. I think I'm settling on a four stars. It was a little bit cringy, a little bit like just like not my favorite thing ever. The ending like literally blindsided me. I was just kind of like, what? I'm gonna throw my phone across the room because of what happened. It was just like not what I expected. But it was good. I just didn't like, yeah, it felt also like too long. Um, it wasn't like a super long audiobook. I think it was like nine hours or something, but it just felt too long and a little bit too drawn out. Yeah, I think a lot of it could have been cut out. I liked the small town vibes, but I've also read such good small town romances that I've given better ratings to since, like before this. like. I've read so much better five, like, I've read so much better small town romances. So the small town romances just didn't get me because the small town elements just didn't sit with me and, and hit with me as well as other books have in the past. So that was also like, yeah, it was just not my favorite. And there's some really, really unlikable characters. And overall, it just wasn't my favorite thing in the world. But I thoroughly enjoyed my time with it. I love the romance. I love like the way that they grew as a couple and just like really learnt to connect. I loved it. I loved Archer coming out of his shell. Like, there were so many things I loved about it. It just wasn't a five star for me. But that's it. I will update you guys tomorrow when I start reading Things I Never Got Over because I don't think I'm going to be able to read much today. Um, I have some podcasts to catch up on. If I start an audio book, I'll let you guys know. But I don't think that I will. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday, let's do a little update over coffee. This is very strong. So, 
I started things we never got over last night. I am, I am 98 pages into this chapter 11. Is this book arguably too long? It could potentially could be. Is this book extremely cringy? Yes. Uh, like, well, the stories are not cringy, but the lines they use and the things that they say are kind of cringy. But the dynamics between the people involved in the small town, I do love that. I love a small town romance, so the people and their personalities, I love that. But the fact that they use the line, who pissed in your Cheerios this morning, was a little bit too much for me. I had full intention of annotating this book, but this book, the pages in the pub Australian published version is thinner than an SJM book. Like this is like Bible pages. So I ordered the English published book and I'm gonna get rid of this. So I didn't wanna annotate and waste my time for nothing. Naomi is so funny trying to be like the perfect auntie. Wayla, Wayla is really funny. She's so endearing. I love it. I'm unsure how old she is though. I think she's like 10. So yeah, my fan cast for like, this is like Naomi, reminds me of like, I'm visualizing like Zoe Deutsch. Zoe Deutsch. Um, and then for Knox, I see like Alex Pettifar. And Nash is, Ale is it Alex Demos, that Australian actress, actor. And then the grandma is to me is the, um, Owen's mum in Grey's Anatomy. That's what I'm visualizing. Now, I didn't know this, but Naomi ran away from a wedding. Her wedding, that's why she's also here. So, and I think she's coming from a kind of well-off family, or at least he, her ex-fiance was well-off and her parents aren't super poor or anything, I don't think, but I'm not sure. So, hopefully this is a fun read. I'm gonna, Read here for the city for and read for a little bit. Okay, happy Sunday, everybody. It is really warm outside. I was just sitting outside for a little bit and I started every summer after. I didn't get much of the way through it. I'm like in chapter two and I'm really, really enjoying this. I don't have anything else to compare this to other than itself. So I don't have that sort of. A lot of my friends have sort of said this reminds them too much of Love and Other Words, so they loved other, they liked other Love and Other Words more than they liked this one. So yeah, but I made myself a little drinky drink. So I'm gonna enjoy that. But a little update on things I never got over. I am like just over, just under halfway through this, and not much has happened. Like, it's very, very slow moving. I do really like this. I thought I wasn't going to like this, but I, I'm really, really enjoying the banter and the characters. I love a small town romance, so, like, I like the quirkiness. It is a little bit cringy. I don't know if I'm going to end up giving it five stars. I might end up giving it four stars, but it is very slow, which is just frustrating because it's like, can we move the plot along? Can something happen? Uh, it's just a little bit slow. But other than that, it's a really, really fun read. I, yeah, I don't think any romance book needs to be 500 pages long, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna keep reading every summer after because I'm really enjoying it. And I just wanna keep reading, but I'll get back to this later tonight, probably. Hopefully I'll finish both of these today. If not, I'll finish them tomorrow, but. Okay, I'm coming to you from the couch. Um, I, it is raining and well, it's not even raining. It's like thunderstorming, but there's no rain, but I'm still like only like 50 pages into this and it's just taking me ages to read because I keep getting distracted by my phone, but like the vibes are just right. I have the window open here so I can get like the breeze in. It's like a stormy summer's day and this book is just like everything, but this book is everything to me so far. I feel so like related to Percy and the things that like happened to her as a young teenager. So I have such a similar like story in a sense to her, but like, oh, I'm obsessed with this so far. I just want to like sit here and not move for the rest of the day, but I have to make dinner at some point, but I'm just going to like chill with this weather. And yeah, I don't, I'm, I was going to go back outside, but now that it's raining, oh, well, now that the storm is coming, I'm not, but um, I'm in a really comfortable position on the couch and I'm just going to stay here and serious. Oh wow. That's a big yawn is joining us. So I am, Back to reading Things We Never Got Over. I don't have much left. I'm up to chapter 42, so 
page 385. This is really good. Do I love it? Yes. Is it a five stars? I'm not sure. It depends on how Knox redeems himself. So obviously we had the third act breakup, which is just like annoying. I hate shit third act breakups, but like, can he redeem himself? I don't know yet. We have to wait and see. But overall, this is a really fun book. And I understand why people really like it, but I also understand why people don't like it because Knox is extremely immature and extremely stupid. Like, it's just like, wake up. Like, yeah, he is dumb. He is dumb. And I get why people don't like it. But do I adore it? It is so good. So quintessentially small town romance. It is what you expect from a full small town romance. So that is why I really like it. I do like, I love small town romance. So for me, this hits the right spots. If Knox can redeem himself from the third act breakup, it'll be good. The plot is interesting. The plot is intriguing in terms of like what's going on with Tina, the twin sister. Naomi's parents, they're so good to watch her friends are so fun to watch and like her friend her best her gay best friend but then also her like friends that she's made in town and all the characters in her town are just so entertaining but Knox has a lot of trauma he reminds me this book and him remind me a lot of Knox from Juniper Hill Juniper Hill is significantly shorter but the vibe is still like he Knox is very similar in terms of like he's very reluctant to sort of go and get into things with the with a woman However, like Knox in Juniper Hill turns that around a lot quicker and ex like realizes his feelings a lot quicker. So in comparison to that, this is not is a lot slower. It is extremely long. It is unnecessarily long. So I think the only thing that will depend on me giving it a five stars is if I feel like it was too long and depending on how Knox redeems himself from the third act breakup. He doesn't redeem himself. And I feel like it's too long. He's getting a, it's getting a four stars. If it if he redeems himself well, and I don't feel like the book was too long, then it's getting a five stars. That is how I feel. I'm gonna probably not finish this tonight. I'm probably gonna put this down for now, and I will probably read this tomorrow. So I'll update you guys tomorrow on how I feel about this. I'm gonna try and read some more of every summer after because I just really really enjoy it. So that's my update day for now. I'm gonna go have a shower and put my pajamas on. Do my skincare. I'm back in the same position as the next day and I'm just like really comfortable on this spot. I am almost finished things we never got over but I will update you guys on that when I do finish it because I don't have much left and I'm gonna read it later. Sirius is back but I got like halfway through this last night and I just want to like sit here and finish this because this is so good and kind of love it overall like it's a fun ride i feel so related to percy it's not even funny the friendship between sam and percy is absolutely everything to me i love watching them get along and like learning to be friends and just navigating being a teen together and the challenges of having like a male best friend and being like opposite opposite genders and like it's so good. Uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Finished every summer after just before and I've gone and collected my thoughts and tried to calm down. I did not stop crying from like chapter 13. And chapter 13 is like, like here. So I cried like the whole last quarter, third of this book. I adored this. This is a five stars. So this is a story of two extremely flawed 18 year olds well teenagers it's follows their life from 13 to 18 they're extremely flawed they have no communication skills like i think when you read this book you need to remember that as teenagers we are full of hormones and we're extremely impulsive and have little to no cognitive cognitive function males particularly do not have a fully formed frontal cortex so that impacts decision making a lot. So there is that. I don't think men have a fully functional, fully um, formed frontal cortex, frontal lobe, whatever it's called, until they're like 25. Even then boys are still dumb. So let's remember that. Also, there is the cheating trope in this. I am gonna give you that spoiler. So do with that what you will. However, be careful who you blame in this situation because 
if you do not fully comprehend this book, fully understand this book and fully dissect this book and you go and blame the woman, I'm going to question everything because that is just blatant misogyny. Like I'm going to question your role as a feminist because these characters are not perfect. It's not a story of people being perfect. This is a story of coming of age. And that is what we need to remember reading this book. They are coming of age. They are learning to be adults and the challenges come in there. And it's also like a beautiful story of like, it's also like, a, well, I would say a complex story of to a boy and a girl being friends learning to deal with their emotions and how how to navigate that being you know they were friends before puberty started before they developed feelings and then developing feelings later on in your teen years when you have this like intense friendship is extremely hard to navigate i think it is a fantastic story carly fortune did a great wrote a great first debut novel i adored this i cannot wait for the next book i thought it was connected however it is not but um this is a top book of the year for sure i'm so glad I, glad i waited to read this till i had the summer vibe but i adored this this deserves every little bit of hype that it has and that's a 4.3 average rating on good good reads guys happy tuesday i'm only just getting to wrap up this vlog but i want to finish off this vlog with wrapping up things we never got over i finished this yesterday i utterly adored this book i gave it a four stars in the end it is too long there is too much like that it doesn't need to be this long the action only happens in like the last 50 odd pages but it was so much fun i love the ending the story was beautiful the epilogue was amazing. The, the second epilogue was beautiful. I adored it. It was definitely one I recommend if you like small, small town romance. If you can look past the fact that the two main characters, well, particularly the male main character is extremely frustrating and extremely dumb. It is very cliche. It is very cringy. It is typical small town romance. And I think that's important to remember when you read a book like this because it is that cringy small town vibe but i loved everything i read this week it was definitely a good reading week in terms of like waiting till summertime to read those quintessential summer books that everyone loved last year but in american summer it was definitely worth waiting 100 percent. it was everything and more i loved my reading week i thoroughly enjoyed it so i hope you guys liked this weekly this week's weekly reading vlog please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next weekly reading vlog mm -hmm.